Hey guys, and CSFan001 here, welcoming you to the road to my 158 Platinum Trophy. It is pretty late at night, and I have an exam tomorrow, or I guess it's technically today, because this is past midnight. Uh, so yeah, I probably should not be playing this right now, but I studied a lot already. So anyway, today's Platinum Trophy, number 159, is one I've been after for a very long time. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, the new Star Wars Battlefront from 2015. The one that was one of the biggest disappointments of 2015 to many people, especially us avid Battlefront fans that have been waiting for it for like 10 years now. So, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and by the way, uh, it's been like a month since I've gotten a Platinum Trophy. Not a month since I've gotten trophies, but like a month since I've gotten a Platinum. And that's been for a couple reasons, most notably uh, school has been the major part of it. Because I had uh, had a lot of school stuff, and yeah, that was the major thing. It was mostly just school. There it is. Reached rank 50. When 900 years old, you become. Oh, and I unlocked Princess Leia and the Platinum Trophy. So, sorry people here, but I am going to quit on out because I am done playing this game for now. Now, honestly... I'm, I know a lot of people ripped on this game a lot, and there's definitely good reasons why that was done, but it's not the worst game in the world. It's not as bad as some of the reviews would have you think. Like, there are, there are much worse games out there than this, especially in the first-person shooter genre. There's definitely worse. Uh, as for the Platinum Trophy, it's not one of the hardest Platinum Trophies in the world, Come on, sync up already. Jeez, it's taking a little longer than normal. There it goes. Jeez, it took a while. So I'm actually at 100% right now. This is after the Death Star DLC release. That was actually very helpful in obtaining this. So this game, it's not as much difficult as it is kind of grindy and time-consuming. It's not a joke of a Platinum. It's probably around a 5 out of 10, but it's not the hardest in the world. It's not the worst out there. It is pretty time-consuming, though. It's going to set you back about 50 to 60 hours, depending on your skill level. Maybe even a little bit faster if you're really good. But on average, it's going to take 50 to 60 hours to platinum this game. But it's not as bad of a game as a lot of people out there were trying to say it was. Like, yeah, it's not perfect, but it has a lot of good to it. And I'll get more into that later. But you have, uh, you have to win a match in every game mode, which is actually one of the hardest trophies in the game because Hero Hunt is a POS mode. Like, it's so unfair. I hated that mode. Everything else was easy. Uh, the Cooling Flush 10 times, Star Card 10 times. A lot of these are very easy and will likely be earned uh, naturally while trying to reach rank 50. Like, kill an enemy that's using a jump pack. Reach level 3 with a trait. That one takes a little bit of skill, but it's like a 6 kill streak to get with the survival trait, which isn't that bad. Uh, 100 kills as a hero, you can just get that. Uh, that one's actually pretty easy. Uh, this one is very grindy. Like, a lot of people boost this one. I did not have to boost it because I got into a couple lobbies with really, really dumb enemies, and I was able to do it by really, really easily on, I think it was Jakku, or maybe it was Tatooine in the Outer Rim. I don't, Or the Outer Rim, I don't know. Uh, that one's very easy, that one's very easy, that one's, uh, that one I think has been modified to where it's a lot easier now because they changed the time requirements for it, like they, or the score requirements for the modes where it takes a lot more points to win, so I think that one's a lot easier now, but I think it may still only count if you kill human enemies. Uh, that one's pretty easy. That one was glitched in the early days, I don't know if it's still glitched though. Uh, that one's very easy. Uh, that one, or actually, that one's not extremely easy, but I think you can do it as long as you just get 10 total kills in the match, so you'll get it along the way with the winning a match. Uh, that one's not too bad, that one's not too bad, uh, that one's very easy. Then this one is reach rank 50, that's gonna be the grindy trophy, because I had every other trophy in the main game, without any of the DLCs, earned by level 39. So, it's gonna take a while, so, I highly recommend combining the DLCs with this trophy, that's probably the best way to get it, because that's going to let you get at least a few level ups. And at the same time, take advantage of any double XP events. Like, I went up about five levels during the most recent double XP for the Death Star DLC, which was freaking awesome, by the way. They finally gave us a good DLC and good bit of content. It only took them almost a year. Uh, that's very easy. That's very easy. That's very easy. That's very easy. 
Uh, that one's pretty easy as long as you know about it. Uh, that one's pretty easy. That one's really easy. Uh, that one is pretty easy. That one is another one that gives people a lot of trouble. Complete all missions on master difficulty. So it's the a couple of the survival missions. Like three of the four survival missions are not that bad because there's like good hiding spots. But Solist is a pain in the ass, honestly. Great. Now I just demonetized the video. I may have cut that out. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that one is just really, really annoying. And then you have the battles, which are... You have to get all those on Master, and those are really hard. Not the hero battles, but the standard battles. Those are pretty hard to beat on Master. Uh, any survival mission on Master within, like, 25 minutes or something, that's actually not that bad. You can do it on Hoth. Uh, that one's really annoying because that gun sucks. Uh, that's very easy. That's very easy. Uh, that one I was initially saving for last, but I decided, you know, that might not be the most interesting to save for last. So I got it, like, 20 minutes ago. Uh, that one's pretty easy, that one's pretty easy, that one's pretty easy, that one's pretty easy, that one's pretty easy. Uh, any survival mission on Master without spending a life, you can do that by having just a co-op partner respawn only and not you. That's easy, that's easy, a little bit grindy, that's easy, and that's not too bad. And then you have the five, uh, DLC trophies from each DLC. Uh, the first DLC actually wasn't that bad. Uh, you could do actually two of these without even owning the DLC, but you had to do the extraction and the 10 kills with each of the guns and play all the new maps. Uh, Bespin was probably the hardest, mostly because of this one, 5,000 objective score while playing as any hero. But nothing else in this was too, too bad, fortunately. And then the Death Star DLC was actually quite easy. There wasn't too much difficulty with it, just this one's a little bit grindy, but that's about it. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this, uh, earning this Platinum Trophy. This is definitely going to be one of my prouder ones in recent times. I know this was a little bit longer video. Apologies for that. But I'm very happy about that. Level 37, 65%, 8,496 total trophies, 159 Platinum, 799 Golds, 2,066 Silvers, and 5,472 Bronzes. So my next Platinum will either be... Most likely Day of the Tentacle Remastered, which I just recently bought because it was on sale for like five bucks, or Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm also slowly working on Attack on Titan and the Minecraft DLC, the most recent one, and that's really all I'm working on at this exact moment. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you for the next one, and I'll be back to Battlefront for the final DLC in December, actually.